So a year ago, Brian made some very bold claims on, on Penny Arcade the series, season one. Um, I'm totally, I'm, I'm gonna win. It's fine, I'm gonna win. I played a very defensive player. I was not ready for that yet, and I lost. Not only did he not win, but he was the only person to lose on our side. Robert just had to point it out every chance he had. I think that all of last year's San Diego was him telling people, hey, this is Brian, do you know who he is? He's the guy who lost to ping pong. No, what would happen, <clears throat> to be fair, would be, oh, hi, I'm Robert. Hey, do you remember Brian? They'd be like, hmm, yeah, he looks really familiar. And I'd be like, he was the guy that lost at ping pong. And then they'd be like, oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, didn't you say you were going to win? What happened? Uh, and then I'd run away. I was really worried. I thought that he would pull it out. I was mad, and not at him, but just at the at the situation. I was hoping that that we wouldn't have had to come to this. You know, that it wouldn't be that tight. Nobody likes to be in that position. Like we were definitely chasing them at that point, and any little mistake from then on out, you know, was was going to cause us to lose. We have to sweep the next three. It's, I don't want to lose <laughs> those games. <laughs> All like five, five game matches, bar one. Yeah. Crazy. I kind of felt bad for Brian after the first match, just because all the fans would know him as the guy that lost at ping pong, and and everybody kind of teased him about it because um, that was like the only footage of him so far in the series. I think Brian sort of felt that coming into this match, he. He knew that there was a little bit of riding on the line because the camera crew was there. It was a rematch against Bungie, uh, a very public loss that uh, he has had to endure for the last 12 months. It was sort of his time to, to really step it up. came over to me and I said to you, jam him, put him in, put the ball into his body. And then you muttered something. That was not at all related to that. You'd walked away, then Erica and I sort of looked at each other and we're like, what did he say? And she's like, Dude, I have no idea. You were in some zone, that's all I know.
I was happy for, for Brian to, to win. I'm sure that he was thinking that somewhere in the back of his mind with the cameras there. The fact that he turned that around obviously helped everybody's spirits. I'm go Brian. He got to redeem himself and uh, I'm sure he is feeling better about losing that one. Like it, it's not going to haunt him anymore. I thought if Brian could pull his out, Kiko and I could could manage to uh, to beat our opponents. Now that was probably premature to think, uh, given that Mike Zach, which was Brian's previous opponent last year, was playing Kiko this year, uh, that he had gotten really, really good. <laughs> First game, uh, he had a really um, tight underspin serve that took me a game to figure out. How it should be, right? <laughs> I win a mix, I did my job. Now you do yours. Clean and ready. No, no mental excuses anyway. I had been practicing with Robert, uh, trying to replicate Jaunty's serve, and I think that that helped. I had Kiko mimic his serve to the point where essentially I was returning against Jaunty and I practiced it for, God, it had to have been hundreds of serves until I felt that I had it down.
time, next time, more we'll practice. It was good. It was good. Ryan and Erica. Yay, we did it! <laughs> We've never had a, a, a closer match. Like, I know that screen life was, you know, a similar situation where the matches were close, but we've never been put up against the wall like that. And, and to come back and pull it out felt really, really good. All was really tough. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Roll credits. Yeah, I'm a sports fan.